Last week I launched a brand new YouTube channel, totally unrelated to this one. I got 100 subscribers in one day and almost 400 views. Let me show you how to do it. Hey, what's up? Trevor here, Hollywood editor turned full-time realtor and video coach and total and nubcake mountain biking. On this channel, I teach realtors and entrepreneurs to grow their businesses using video. So hit the subscribe button right down there and whack the bell so you are sure to catch future content. While you're at it, hit the like button for my self-esteem. I need a boost. Be confident enough to go over these crazy trails. I'm gonna blast through all those steps I took to get those hundred subscribers and hundreds of views in just a day. I've got videos on each of those topics linked down below. You can check out how to do exactly what I did. Stick around the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a ninja trick that's gonna kinda force them to subscribe. Oh, first thing I did, it's keyword research, man. You gotta find a topic people are searching for. If people aren't searching for your video, that means they're not interested, they're not gonna watch it. So you gotta, you gotta do that. Check out the link, I have just a couple tools I use. One of them is Keywords Everywhere. Another one's TubeBuddy. There's links for those down below, as well as links to the videos. Next, I created a compelling video. Now this is ultimately the most important thing. You gotta create a video that's engaging and entertaining. If you're just rambling about nothing, nobody's gonna watch it. You should totally script out your videos beforehand, bullet point them, and get to the point quickly. You also wanna change the shot frequently. People get bored super quickly. In that video, that first video, which I'll, I'll link up here right now, for that brand new channel, you'll notice that it's shot in multiple locations. Yes, that takes more effort, but it keeps it more engaging. Before you ever start a channel or a video, you wanna make sure you have a niche identified. My new channel, very specific niche. Right now it's, we sold our house, live in an RV full time. There's a huge market for that. I knew that before I launched the channel or made the video. So I knew we'd have a shot. Is editing important? Yeah. You might think, Trevor, you're an editor, you have an advantage. Yeah, a little bit, but my video coach, Sonny Leonard Doozy said, Trevor, that's your curse. Fancy editing doesn't get views, guys. Engaging content gets you views. All you're able to do is edit to cut out the bad parts. Got a video about that link down there below as well. Or just to cut out the boring stuff because people don't want to watch it. When I uploaded the video, I follow the steps that I use to upload my videos to make sure I don't miss anything so that my SEO is totally SEO'd, search engine optimized. You know what you think, oh, if I do perfect SEO, I'm gonna become famous. It's like, no, it's just one little step out of a million things. Again, the most important thing is engaging content. There are people with a gazillion views that do terrible SEO because they've been doing it a while and they probably did search engine optimization in the beginning. Well, let's talk about what those things are. Number one, once you've identified that topic with your keyword research, you gotta put that keyword phrase in your title like I did here. In fact, I put three keyword phrases in my title, which is probably a mistake. You wanna to stick to one topic. Number two, you want to find relevant related tags. Put them in the tags section of your video. All about one topic. The more niched you are, the better you are gonna be. If you try to put in, oh, I gotta put in a thousand things, I wanna rank for all of them. No, one thing. If you're a realtor making a video on taxes in your city, that's all the keywords should be related to, nothing else. You might be thinking, well, Trevor, you got 9,000 subscribers on this channel, that's how you did it. I didn't really tap the subscribers on this channel. Yeah, I did post a comment in the community tab on this channel, but that gets almost nothing for me. Didn't make a video about it on this channel till this one. I'm hoping you guys will all go there and subscribe, obviously. Take advantage of every audience that you have. I don't yet have a database of followers on my new channel, However, I do have, you know, 40 or 50 family and friends that might watch my videos and be interested in them and want to subscribe and like them. So I emailed my family and friends. I'm like, hey guys, new channel, check it out. And I think some of them probably did. You may not have a huge social media presence on all of the social media platforms, but you probably have some presence on many of them. You share them on all of them. I shared this video on LinkedIn, Pinterest, two Twitter accounts, and on Facebook. Facebook is the big one. Facebook is great for immediate engagement. I shared 
that video on my personal page, on my business page, on my private Facebook group, on my wife's personal page, and I shared it in several groups where I thought it would be welcome and appropriate. Here's the thing. Do not spam Facebook groups with your videos. Nobody knows who you are, you don't know the admin, you don't have permission, don't do that. It's just getting you blocked, people are gonna hate you. Nobody wants your spam. If you post your YouTube video, no matter how awesome you think it is and how much you think it's a video that's all about them and for them, everybody will see it as self-promotion. It's like, oh, it's Johnny, he got a new channel, the video wants us to watch it, forget him, block, don't do that. If there are Facebook groups where you are welcome, you have a presence, you've been adding value, then yes, share it there. If you're not sure, hit up the admin. Most of my views for that first video actually came from Facebook. We leveraged the heck out of Facebook. And that's not a long-term strategy to grow a channel for years and years, but to get a video off the ground, it helps. Because when YouTube sees that people are A, clicking on your thumbnail, and B, watching it for at least 40% of it, YouTube is getting signals that your video is good. It's gonna show it to more people. So you really wanna push it in that first one to seven days. And you should promote all your videos for the rest of eternity but you won't have to push as hard once you get a following once people know what your videos are about and once they realize that oh you're giving value you're giving them stuff they want in every video look at this video this is mr beast he's got almost 40 million subscribers he still spends a ton of time on his thumbnails but look at his seo score zero he no longer has to put much effort into his seo because he's established himself as a guy that's going to deliver people see his thumbnail they see his title they click on it and they know that he's going to deliver he's already established a reputation you're just getting started out you don't have that it's going to take a little more work to get your videos watched here's the big key every one of your videos should either entertain inform or inspire and if you can get the trifecta you're going to kill it on this channel it's mostly an informational teach you instructive tutorial kind of channel but i hope that i'm entertaining sometimes and i hope that you're inspired because of what i've been able to do i hope that you feel like you can do the same we are at a crossroads literally we don't know where to go we can go right or we can go left which way should we go post in the comments below should we go left or right one other thing we did is try to increase engagement. When YouTube sees engagement signals, people like your videos, subscribe, they comment on them, they share them. YouTube is more likely to promote your video, you get more views, more subscribers. So what do you do? In the video, you ask them to like your video. Like right now, please like this video. I think I mentioned my self-esteem is suffering, getting fat, living in an RV. So please subscribe as well. Ask them to subscribe and ask an engagement question. What's an engagement question? It's a, it's a question that is easy for them to answer and makes them have to answer it. So right now I'm gonna ask you an engagement question. I want you to, I want you to prove that I'm right. Don't prove I'm wrong, please. And the way you do that is answer this question. How many subscribers do you want to have on your channel? What is your goal? How many subscribers do you need to feel like, oh, I've made it. Post that in the comments below. You should ask a question like that that's super easy to answer in every one of your videos to increase engagement. What didn't you do? Never, ever, ever, ever buy subscribers. Never, ever, ever do sub for sub. That will hurt your channel. If people or bots subscribe to your channel and don't engage your content, it hurts you and YouTube will know. Dude, I'm telling you, YouTube knows stuff. Here's what doesn't matter, your camera. Nobody cares what camera you're using. This whole video, Almost all this video shot with, oh dude, I'm not good at this. Ah! Most of this video shot on my GoPro, a $400 camera. I think it for like 350 bucks now. That first video on my YouTube channel, close to that, shot with my iPhone. I do have one more ask. Go ahead and click up there and watch my new YouTube channel and subscribe to it. That would be super helpful to me because I'm super excited about sharing that adventure. And my goal on that channel is to entertain, inform, and inspire you to do things that you didn't think you could do. Like ride a mountain bike like this without crashing. Here's that ninja trick. There is a way to create a link that will take them right to the subscribe button to your page. It's like, boom, they click that and it says, want to subscribe? And they can either click out of it or subscribe, but a lot of people will subscribe doing that. Some people may not like you doing that, so I'd be really careful where you do that. I only did it on my personal page, but if you want to learn how to make that magic link that makes them subscribe, 
go ahead and click on that video right up there when you're done with this. Make sure you subscribe by hitting that button right down, down there. Go ahead and click on uh, that guy right up there for a huge playlist of videos that help you grow your YouTube channel. I can't wait to see your epic YouTube channel to the least 100 subscribers. Get it done.